You are listening to the Fresh Take Network. Welcome, everybody, to another episode of Gotham, the podcast from the YYC Soldiers. Uh, this podcast is recorded on the traditional territories of the Treaty Seven Nations in Southern Alberta and the Métis Nation of Alberta, Region 3. I'm your host, Adam Diesel Power, and we are here to chat the Jordan 12 today. That's our big topic. A uh, bit of a light, a light crew this week. Uh, Albert is on a sabbatical, taking a little break. He will not be around for the next couple of weeks. Jermaine is, I don't know where Jermaine is. He might hop in a little bit later, uh, but he is, I think he's picking up sneakers. I think that's, that's the important thing. He's got some kicks he's got to pick up, <laughs> but we do have a couple, a couple dudes from the crew. So we've got in the top corner, we've got Eli falls, falls the 30 rocking his, his son's Jersey and playoff mode. Oh, sons and six tonight. Let's close it out. Let's end it <laughs> round two. Let's go. So if you're, you're listening LA, to this on go. Saturday, you might you might think he's a prescient man, or you might think he's an idiot. Who knows? Yeah. Who knows what's gonna happen? Put the cards on the table right now. Got to put it out there. <laughs> yeah. And okay. in the in the bottom, also rocking a tank because <laughs> it is damn hot out. Heat wave, uh, heat check, King Kamba, hard cure it. What's happening? What's up? What's up, y'all? Cool. Uh, so how's it going this week? Anybody pick up any kicks this week that you want to chat about? Uh, I got a pair of those Shadow 2.0s. Hold on out here. Yeah, Jordan 1. Right. Another there Jordan 1. Another Jordan 1. You know, nothing, uh, yeah, I don't know. I don't know what to say about them. Nothing crazy special. They're gray and black. <laughs> What's the material on the, on the gray? I haven't seen them in person uh it's like a soft soft leather i don't want to say it's suede or anything but a little bit softer than the black leather mm -hmm. so maybe a little bit maybe a little bit in the box type suede but, but and what's the uh crazy the official color of that gray because that's not shadow gray is it no so on the box here it says smoke gray smoke yeah so it's sort of like those light smokes um like the mids that came out um, sort of that type of colorway for sure. Definitely not that dark, dark shadow. I mean, still like clean looking pair. Yep. I'd be mad at it, especially since I got them for retail. It is what it is. Yeah. Um, yeah, they're okay. Not too bad. We'll see how long I keep them. <laughs> Dope. Yeah. Where, where'd you get those at? Uh, these ones I got from Foot Locker on the Foot Locker app um, through the raffle. You're the only and... person I've ever met who actually wins on the Foot Locker app. <laughs> I've never Who's seen. Who's ever won? Person. Yeah, Not wins <laughs> only once. <laughs> only once. Didn't yeah. you win one? And you won one in Edmonton. I won one in Edmonton. Yeah, <laughs> but it I doesn't count. Did couldn't pick it up. Count. Couldn't pick it up. But uh, um, yeah, while I was there, I picked up one of these too. So they had a little bit of a sale going on. There's a couple of fifty cent or fifty percent off items, and then this one was like twenty five percent off. I was like a Nike nice. orange hoodie, dry fit. Not that we're going to be wearing this anytime soon. If you look at me, me and Eli, but uh, you know, maybe maybe something good for the winter time. Yeah. So cool. check them out. Check them out if you want something. I think the sale is on uh, Cross Iron, Sunridge, pretty much everywhere. Dope. Yeah. Cool, cool. Um, Eli, you're doing no spend June, so nothing from you. Nothing from me. No. Nothing uh, from you this week. Nothing. Going strong three days in. All right, so, three days uh, in. We'll see. Still rocking. Keep, keep we'll check in next. Life. We'll check in next week and see how this goes. <laughs> um, I got a small pickup. It's not for me. It's for a friend. I don't think he listens to the show, so I can show it off. Um, but he's having a baby, my friend in Portland. Hey. And I was able to scoop these little numbers <laughs> nice. for him. This for uh, Madge? Yeah. 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 Shout out, shout out, Madge. I don't think he listens. I hope he doesn't listen. So I'll tell <laughs> him to listen after. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, these are dope. These these are, are these really are awesome. These are super cool. Um, and you know what? This... They might not foam up because babies aren't walking around in them. Mm, so yeah, yeah. You're right. You're right. <laughs> yeah. Oh, baby. Yeah, so for anybody, I guess, watching this or uh, not watching this, just listening, uh, 
Air Max One Kiss of Death. Oh, yeah. What what size is say. it? Size, I think it's the smallest. I think they came in for. Nice. Four C. Air Max One. They're caught. basically just a circle Kiss at that death. point. Yeah, it's just a yeah. little little baby. Yeah, little baby. Um, Those are cute. I'm so this impressed was, with baby shoes. Always so impressed. I just happened to be awake uh, at 4 a.m. when these dropped on <laughs> Sneakers Canada, and I was like, "All right, I'll see if I can get them for them." And I enter, and then it's like got them, and I was like, "Holy shit!" I actually won. <laughs> and then, like 10 minutes later, I went back to the site, and it was like you could just buy them. I was like, oh, okay. So I won by default. Like I was like the old, one of the only people trying to buy these. Nobody asked so, how. They just ask how many. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. So, but what I hear is like, yeah, you get a few wins, then you get more wins. It's kind of how it works. So you yep. take the ones you can get, I guess. That's it. That's it. That was my first W on Sneakers Canada. And oh, nice. kind of a waste, Congrats. but it's all good. It's all good. Yeah, then nothing. Win yeah. to win. A win is a win. You're right. Um, so that's it for pickups, I think, for this week for everyone. Uh, if Jermaine comes in a little bit later, he might have something to chat about. But He's speaking something up locally. Let's, sorry? He's speaking something up locally? I, I don't want to say too much. Hmm. I'll let him I'll let him do it. I don't think it's local, but but oh, okay. He's going to the mail office. <laughs> I think maybe. We'll see. The post office. We'll see. Uh all right. Let's go to what's coming out this week. Uh, I'm going to share the screen. We've got a few pairs to talk about. So the first pair coming out um, this week actually came out uh, yesterday. Was it Wednesday? Um, uh, yeah, I think, it, again, it was on, like a rolling release. There was some on yeah, Tuesday, some on Wednesday. bit of a rolling release. The Air Jordan 1 Women's Court Purple. Uh, so these are the metallic purple pair. Uh, these came out back in 2011. Last time they were that do the, in the Do the Right Thing pack. They were international um exclusives so only canada mexico the world everywhere except us so these haven't come out for a long time and they haven't come out in the og uh cut since 85 so here they are only coming up pretty much to a size 12 women's so if you're an 11 and up too bad no no luck uh yeah did anybody nobody hit on these did they nobody won any raffles or anything no, not really. Luck. And to be honest, I didn't really try for these ones. But we we'll put okay. in a couple raffles. That that looked good with a Suns jersey. It would. That would look good in a Suns jersey. Look good Suns yeah. jersey. I, I entered a few. I was kind of hoping I would maybe get it. Now it's like it looks like they're selling for not too much over retail. Yeah. So maybe you could get a pair for retail a little later, but always size twelve. I need a size twelve and always those always demand demand the, more, the taxing yeah. so the cut on this one's a little bit different isn't it yeah it looks a little a little weird i don't know i'm not super familiar with all the women's cuts yeah and i don't know if that's what it is but really thin yeah exactly they do look quite thin yeah more i guess that's that leather tongue. with some of the og the leather tongue Maybe. Yeah. is different mm -hmm. too yeah yeah they're interesting i'd like they're to clean they're super movie. clean yeah it's we'll a super clean pair. I had that that do the right thing one back in uh, 2011, oh, yeah. and I, I wore the hell out of them. I loved that that pair a lot. So, be cool to get one back, maybe one day. We'll see. Yeah, maybe they'll release these in men's later on. Yeah, I can see that. Um, all right, the next pair is coming a little bit later this week on Saturday. Is the Air Jordan Six in electric green? I know we touched on this a few weeks back when the pictures came out. Um, but this is coming out on Saturday. It's that 28 days of flight yep. sample or that Oregon Ducks sample, kind mm -hmm. of like a mix of both. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I'm not really looking for these. I feel like they missed the boat. They should have dropped these with the 28 days of flight, and I would have been all over them. Yeah. <laughs> like, I mean, it's nice. Sure. It's like it's 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 the black infrared color blocking just with electric green. Yeah. Which is, like, dope. I mean, like what's not to like, but for some reason, yeah, I'm with I'm with you. It's like I just yeah. I don't care anymore at this exactly, point. Exactly, yeah. When I first saw them back when the 28th released, I was like, man, I need every single one of these. But, <laughs> yeah, now it's like a little too late, a little too late. These will sit, I am pretty sure. I think so. That's what you say. That's what we always say, but yes, nothing yeah. seems to sit that's, anymore. Nothing sits anymore. Yeah, that's true. sitting does that's not true. exist. 
Yeah. Unless it's allegedly Eleven Low for some reason. <laughs> yeah, it has been sitting everywhere. The only thing sitting. I don't know, man. These might sit. I feel like they're too close to the DMPs, too close to the infrareds. Yeah, like, I'm with you. Like, uh, I'm, I'm not saying you're not wrong. I'm saying I would yeah. say the same thing, but... Yeah, they'll probably sell out. <laughs> who knows? <laughs> Let's yeah, who knows? Yeah. yeah. And um, then 28 days later, they all get returned and... Yep. So if you don't get them at release, wait a month. They'll it's be back. 28 It'll days of back. fight. That's what it's exactly. <laughs> known for. 28 Levels days to this. of fight. <laughs> uh, the next release this week uh, is a retro of the LeBron 8 V2 Low, the Miami Knights, coming back. Um, I think that's Saturday, maybe Friday this week. I think it's Friday. Mm-hmm. Um, nice South Beach colorway in a low top. It's a nice summer, summer shoe. Yeah, nice summer joint. These never did it for me. I don't know. Like, I'm not a big fan. I never got the hype on these. They're, no. they're like, a, I don't know. I don't love the colorway. I never thought the yeah. eight lows were amazing, but people it is want weird. It, I, it doesn't do anything for me, but yeah, it's, yeah, I don't know. It is weird that they're retroing it. Like, who are people like clamoring for this? Like, I don't I know. I think this one is so. decently hyped. No, really? Oh, I don't know. Maybe it is. I know that like, some the people South Beach, like being excited for them. The South yeah. Beach eight for sure, but then this one kind of gets overshadowed by that. Definitely. Yeah. yeah. You think this is gonna be like a coattails hype type of thing? Like everybody's hyped on the South Beach eights, and it's like, well, maybe I won't have a shot at those, so I'll try my luck at these. <laughs> yeah, well. maybe it's the it's the rage cop, the rage yeah. cop after <laughs> losing out. I mean, they should have just made the lows the same color and just made them lows, <laughs> and they would have been an instant sellout. Yeah, or even swap swap a color or something. Yeah. Like, yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah, I would have. They made these the highs, and then the other ones the low. That would have pissed a lot of people off. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, probably. But there would be no win if you're a Nike no. in that situation. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's um, a pass for me. And the last shoe coming out this week, I think this one comes out. When does this one come out? Saturday. This one's Saturday. Saturday. It's the uh, Fragment Dunk High, the old Beijing colorway. Um, so it's like that wine, dark purple, black. Uh, these are hitting a lot of stores. I've seen a lot of raffles yeah. um, for them now. I'm not sure. I think the hype is there because it's Fragment, but I'm not sure the hype is really around for these. Yeah, I feel like... I don't know. I mean, out of everything fragment this one is probably at the end of the list of being hype mm-hmm. so i don't know how much people actually like dunk highs to be honest with you don't see many people wearing them. there's a lot of sbs now obviously um, but the dunk highs definitely yeah you're right like even the sb highs don't sell as yeah, much as like the lows yeah they've never i don't know for me personally they've never killed you know the silhouette or whatever but yeah, I don't know. I, I feel like everybody will buy them because they're frag, obviously. Of course they will. Um, just just like those Jordan 6s, but um, <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I don't think they're that great. They're not going to sit. No, they're not no. going to have they're an easy definitely time not gonna them, sit, but... no. Yeah, and I mean, like, it, it's just that frag logo. If this was just regular black and pink or purple, I think they would sit. Oh, for sure. 100%. Yeah. So, yeah, all right. Yeah. Eli, you're not coming out. Me. You're not coming out of retirement for June to get these? Nah, nothing there for me. <laughs> Come on, man. This that. this looks like the the Vegas purple that the gorilla will wear next. Might be the next one that he wears. <laughs> if that happens, maybe I'll take another thing. Till then, yeah, yeah. He'll what replace he, the frag logo with a. What was he sponsored <laughs> by? What's that uh, store that he was sh- sponsored by? That shop, yeah, I can't remember. I can't remember either. either. But... Rare or something, or I can't remember. Some, uh, Grails some, or something. Yeah, some yeah. Grails. Uh, that's it for shoes coming out this week. Um, we'll have some more next week, I'm sure. So let's before we get to the Jordan 12, let's hit up a few topics that we wanted to touch on this week. The first one being, I know we, I think we talked about it already, but there's an Air Max One Travis Scott coming out. Um, still not sure when. I think it's like like winter this year, fall or winter. Um, but we did get some some new color or pictures of one of the colorways and here it is it's brown surprise surprise <laughs> brown on brown on brown on brown on brown different that, shades of brown and beige toe box panel looks like it's like inside out you know what i mean like yeah. no, what's 
It's like a wicker. A, on a typical Air Max One, the toe box panel on the medial side, the outside of the foot, not its lateral side, um, stretches back and connects to kind of the mid panel. So with it cutting off right at the end of the toe box, I'm pointing a bit. Obviously, you guys can't see what I'm pointing at. Um, it makes it look like it's the inside panel. Does that make mm. it any sense at all? Yes. I think I know what you mean. Yeah, so like the this toe box is that, that so piece. Weird. Yeah, it looks too similar. It looks like mm-hmm. when you're looking at the outside of the shoe, it looks like the inside of the shoe. Yeah, yeah. I don't know, man. I don't know. I wanted to shoot him some bail when the first like uh, mock-ups came up. Those were actually like eh, maybe one or two of the, like, the six or whatever there were. Didn't seem bad. But like I have no idea what's going on with this. It does it doesn't look like an Air Max one anymore unless you look at the inside foot like Eli saying. Yeah. Like, like the, the backwards yeah. swoosh really changes the whole thing. And like I don't know what these random straps are. Yeah, the blocking is yeah. different. Like the panels are all exactly weird. the panel in the middle behind the swoosh is I think they just flipped it because they I guess they flipped the whole thing, maybe. I don't know, maybe that's what it is. Huh. But it just looks weird. It, it looks like a takedown model of an Air Max One a little bit. Like you know, you always see with the outlets, like the Air. Yeah. Something I don't yeah. know. Like I like the it's like a... if the whole shoe looked like that inside right there, I maybe mean, I'd probably get it. I like. What that do you What do you feel inside, about like that cream, but... filling in the air bubble? Uh, I mean, I I don't I don't think that's too crazy. The uh... I'm not crazy about that. I have the um the Air Max One, the sixes, courtesy of YYC soldiers from uh our December <laughs> giveaway there. Um and those ones have it filled in as well. It's just oh, really well, that one yeah. had like a story though, because that yeah, was supposed to be out. like yeah, it's whited out. So like you're walking in the snow and exactly. snow gets packed in your exactly. air bubble. It was like a nod to <laughs> yeah, Canada. Exactly. So, this is sand. This, this is, is sand. Yeah, exactly. That's what I was bubble. gonna say. I was like, this is probably sand. That's what they yeah. do. But I and I don't love that. that that like brown top line on the midsole. How that's like painted. I don't know. It's all funky looking to me. But I'm obviously not the target audience for this shoe. You're not the I like I like the inside of that shoe. I just don't like this outside portion. So here's the pictures that we saw before on foot pictures. Yeah. Definitely looks a little better. Doesn't have the filled in air bubble. Hey. Oh yeah. Stuff yeah, to tell from that angle. Yeah. yeah. It don't look, looks like it's clear. Looks pretty mm-hmm. clear there. Yeah. I don't know, oh, man. I don't know. Maybe. I think it's clear. I think it's clear on this one. I, I don't know. <laughs> hmm. I'm curious mm-hmm. to see what the the rest of the air. Oh, like here's is. all the mock-ups. Yeah, see, like, like these ones actually Ed's don't look bad. So there's like five. Yeah, there's like five colors, four or five yeah. colors coming out. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Here's the mock-ups, kind of like a. A more like honey mustard oh, yeah. brown. Then you got like a ghost green, and then you got like a I don't know what this is volt ish, yeah. barely volt or whatever they call it. They call it yeah. That, but yeah, and then I think you missed that brown one all the way at the bottom. This one? No, next one. Oh, there's another brown one. Of course, yeah. there is. Yeah, yeah and that's. Brown. I think the color way they probably saw. Exactly. Yeah, I think this is the mock up of what we're looking at. Exactly, and like Today. this one, I don't, I don't find this one look too bad. But what they did with the new one, I don't know. Because that toe guard totally panel different. connects going yeah, back, it makes yeah, it look like an yeah, MX. This is what you're talking about, they, right? Right here, this line. Yes. Yeah. When that drops off to the side, off. it looks like a piece yeah. of that. It looks like it's just like the the interior panel of the shoe. It throws the whole yeah. look off for me. So right yeah. here. And same with that mid panel. It just looks like <clears> I don't know what that looks like. Yeah. Like mushroom. Yeah, it's weird. weird. Don't know. Weird. Well, we're not getting them. Nobody's gonna win them. <laughs> Nobody's gonna try for them. Whatever. Oh, you always gotta try. Come on. Oh, you always gotta try. Always I guess. Try. I guess you gotta try, but you gotta try. Eh, eh. Um, to keep. Let's it let's keep moving to another topic. Uh, we saw some new pictures just leaked about a brand new um, collab with Ali Ali May from Jordan Brand again. And this time it's a Jordan 14 low top. Uh, last the last release we saw of hers was that comfort zoom one that had a lot of pretty cool details. I know we're not really crazy about a comfort zoom, but dope details on it. And this time I'm gonna say she killed it with this 14 low. Um, it t- definitely takes a lot from the clot 14 low that just came out. 
that same kind of sand upper. But then it has like a marbled jade looking mm -hmm. um, like midsole accent and toe claws and tongue and then some gold on it as well. I don't know the exact colorway on that on that green because they're just calling it light sand. Oh. Huh. Yeah, it definitely looks like a jade. Mm -hmm. Very cool too, jade. yeah. No, that's pretty cool, man. I mean, I, I think we've mentioned this before, but she kills every collab that she's done. Every single one of them is good. Even those comfort lows, like, they're not my thing, but, like, they're super cool, super different. You know who got a pair of those? Kevin won a pair of those. No way. <laughs> and he sent me a picture. He sent me a picture rocking them the other day. What? And they were fire. They looked great. What? They looked dope. He just Kevin. entered... He just Kevin? entered out west and was just like, whatever. And then he won. Oh, man. And he's just rocking. Kevin, just rocking. Why were you like? Where were you by? Yeah, Dude, exactly. I think, That's what I it's all about, man. Cool. Yeah. Yeah, these are cool. Yeah, I like these a lot. The gold accents, the gold gold aglets, everything. Like, yeah, I like it, that subtle works. jade in there. It looks nice. Um, I don't know, however, if I like this better than the caught one. But I think the claw one just has a better story, doesn't it? With the yeah. Terracotta Warriors. It's in that it's in that realm. It's not yeah, bad. it's around that realm. Yeah. yeah. The story is just too good. Do we know a story for this one? Or not, is yet. not at the moment. Not, not the yet. Moment. I'm sure we'll get we'll get yeah. some. And I'm sure there's other details that we're totally missing on this shoe. Yeah. Um, like what's in the insole, what's on the underside of the tongue. We can't really see a lot of these things. So right. um, but the box is cool too. It's that mint box with her signature and then gold foil kind of oh, paper yeah. instead of the paper. Um, that jade reminds me of the, um, forgive me if I'm butchering this Asian people out there, but people that have like the Buddha thing on their necklace with that jade color. Mm, well, I don't know yeah. if that's actually made out of jade too, but that's what it reminds me of. It does bit. look a lot like that. Right, yeah. For sure. Interesting. Um, well, continuing on the Jordan path, We've got uh, pictures of another release. This time it is a Jordan 35. Uh, the Kwai tournament coming up. Is the Kwai tournament still even happening? I don't even know. I don't know. With COVID and stuff yeah. this year. Um, but we've got a 35. I think it's a low. Yeah, low. Yeah, yeah. 35 low. Um, Kwai coming in a white, black, and red colorway. Kwai logo on one of the tongues, Jumpman on the other, and patches on the heel. Some patchwork kind of in in the interior as well mm -hmm. yeah i know jermaine really like these ones kind of cool they're interesting not an instant cop for me what i usually like about the quais is that a lot of their colorways and sort of those designs that they use mimic what the court is going to look like that year mm -hmm. and so i don't know if they're playing like you said who knows if co is going to allow it maybe they'll do something because it's like you can watch NBA games now, so why not quiet tournament? Maybe just sit a couple people apart. Um, but if it if it does happen, I would expect that uh, sort of the um, inner layer design there to be what the court looks like this year. Yeah, I could definitely see that too. Yeah. Um, again, with a low, a low of the latest model is an interesting thing. I can't remember. They definitely did the thirty-one lows. Was the one yeah, last one I remember. 32s as well. Was it 32 low too? Yeah. Um, so yeah, there's quite a, usually been a low for a lot of these, a lot of yeah. these Kwai for the new ones, but no retro this year, it seems, unless yeah. we're getting one later. Mm. Yeah, I always, I always feel like with these lows, they always bring them out too late too. Like same with the 32s. Like this is like the end coming mm. up of this shoe. And now we're waiting for the 36 and it's like, yeah. well, now nobody cares about the low. So, yeah, by this time, it's like so we've weird. already seen pictures of the 36. So yeah. we're like waiting for that. And then it's like do it. more lows. Yeah. It's like, no, I don't want the more lows. And everything. I don't get it. Yeah. Like, why I would I look lows. for this now? No, I don't know. I feel like that's a miss from Jordan Brand. But I mean, I guess Kwai always likes to do a little bit different. So maybe they ask for it. But yeah. Mm -hmm. Not for me. So yeah. So that's the, I guess, the Kwai Jordan. Maybe there'll be more. We'll keep an eye out if there's. There's more pairs that come out. Maybe there will be a a uh, a retro that comes out. Who knows? Yeah. Last this one will be a friends and family pair too if they do with the tournament. Yeah, yep. yep. That one is going to look amazing. You can already tell. <laughs> can already always, tell. always does. Always yeah, does. They'll just flip that pattern to the front. 
It's going to look fire. <laughs> um, next up, we got more stuff from Jordan Brand. This time, uh, we got a new a new silhouette. Uh, Jordan is paying homage to some of his inspirations and heroes with a brand new silhouette called the Jordan Series 01. I know you guys know what this is. You've been seeing it this last week. It's a, uh, it's a, what's that Vans Converse. shoe? <laughs> it's that Vans half cab or whatever, not half cab, whatever the low thing is. Old school. Yeah. Old, the old school. school. Sort of. <laughs> um, so we know Albert's going to buy every single Albert, one. Albert is in. <laughs> uh, but it's like, yeah, maybe a Jordan one low look with a, uh, a blazer midsole blazer. Got a cup sole. Sole, yes. Yeah. So. Cup sole. Um, here we're looking at two colorways. One says, Dear Larry, um, to honor Michael Jordan's brother, Larry Jordan. And it looks like it's in, I would assume, that Laney colorway where they went to high school. Um, yeah, the gum sole is kind of nice. Uh, but it's, it's like nicer a... when you can see the gum sole. <laughs> yeah, it's like a white of... with like kind of a... laying down while you're wearing this. <laughs> <Yeah, exactly. laughs> a gray cream upper with some suede, some mesh, maybe corduroy. And then you've got a yellow uh, tongue tag and then like a, a varsity blue piping on the sole. Um, yeah, I don't know. then I don't to, know to combat that, we got a dear Mike pair and this is kind of like a Barons. Mm-hmm. I think they're going right. for all yeah. black right. with a white, white soul. Um, then we've got in memory of Dean Smith, his, his coach who has passed away his, uh, North Carolina coach, University of North Carolina. So obviously North Carolina colors. So white with a baby blue toe. There's red on it for some reason. <laughs> I uh, I like these ones. This you colorway, like, I could I could I could rock these. You like this one? Could, yeah. yeah. Out of out of the ones we've seen so far, I agree. I uh, I I don't hate the silhouette. I could kind of see myself rocking this like business casual, like to a meeting, something like that. Um, I don't know. I think these would be a nice like low key kind of keep by the door, slip on, slip off kind of thing. They're definitely not going to be like, oh, I need these, chase them down kind of thing. But uh, if I could stumble into these at like an outlet or for, I don't know what the retail price is going to be. But uh, this uh, this pair here with the baby blue 80 toes. 80 bucks. Has, so you're looking yeah. at like one, so, yeah. 120 maybe? 110, 120. 110, 120, yeah. So if I could get these for around 100 bucks, then I would definitely grab a pair of these oh, and no. beat the hell out of them. These are hitting outlets for sure. <laughs> Good. Unless, Let's unless keep they're it that just way, baby. super limited. Maybe they'll just be dumb limited. <laughs> oh, yeah. That would be dumb. Too. Um, and there's one more color to talk about. Uh, and this one is in dedication to Michael Jordan's mother, Dolores. And we've got uh, that cream suede on the on the back and then like a salmon kind of salmon toe <laughs> yeah looks like bad. this is, uh, this, again this is right up albert's al- alley right here Get one <laughs> pair of these yeah. one pair of the blues mismatch that shit <laughs> bang <laughs> damn God, we're gonna burn albert every week <laughs> until he comes back on the show <laughs> But this is, yeah, this is Albert. It's not going to be hot take anymore. It's just going to be roast yeah. Albert. Yeah, roast Albert day. Yeah. <laughs> this looks like I could see Albert dancing in this. Oh, yeah, 100%. For sure. Yeah. No, I think they're, you know what, for that price, that's actually not bad. If you can actually get them for like $80 Canadian, that's money. Mm-hmm. That's not, <laughs> not, too, not too terrible. Yeah, $80 yeah. Canadian, I could, I could rock with that. Yeah. Yeah, like um, I said, that blue pair, I'm a sucker for that Carolina blue. But... Carolina blue, yeah. Yeah, I can get down with those. And one more thing before we get to the Jordan 12s this week is a pretty big topic, I think. Um, something that just happened, I think it was yesterday, maybe even this morning, um, was that this Mamba Sita Kobe 6 Pro Tro that was expected to release and then the whole fallout with the Kobe Bryant estate and no longer having the deal it was expected that Nike would kibosh this, this release and not actually come out or something would happen. Um, 
But now these shoes are actually getting into the hands of collectors and NBA players like Chris Middleton um, actually wearing them. And this obviously got to Vanessa Bryant herself. She was not too pleased to say the least um, about this. Should I, should I read the statement? Sure, go for it. Yeah. So she made a statement on Instagram and she says about, so the Mamacita Kobe six, it's like an all black. It has Gigi's number on it. Number two. And on the heel it has the, the Mamacita logo, which is, I guess her new brand, their new brand. It says Kobe and Gigi on the heels. So let me read the statement. She said, this is a shoe I worked on in honor of my daughter, Gianna. It was going to be called the Mambasita shoe as an exclusive black and white colorway on her daddy's shoe. I picked the colors in honor of her uniform the number two she wore, just like her uniform, the inside pattern, Kobe and Gigi on the black and gold instead of Kobe's signature, the inside shoe details, butterfly wings, halo, etc. The Mambasita shoes are not approved for sale. I wanted it to be sold to honor my daughter with all of the proceeds benefiting our Mambasita Sports Foundation, but I did not re-sign the Nike contract and decided not to sell these shoes. The Mamba City shoes were not approved to be made in the first place. Nike has not sent any of these pairs to me and my girls. I do not know how anyone, how someone else has their hands on the shoes I designed in honor of my daughter, Gigi, and we don't. I hope these shoes did not get sold at Nike. Pretty big, pretty big, bold statement there. Yeah. Um, I feel then, like they've been on the been on the outs for a while now here haven't they since the whole them leaving but yeah and yeah, uh so here was a picture of somebody clearly having these in hand um we did have a bit more information get released before we dig into what we think about it but yeah. the rumors were that one store in london is it foot patrol, foot patrol in yeah. london was supposed to sell uh, what was it, the Del Sol pair? Del Sol, yeah. Um, and they somehow had these pairs in their warehouse, and they accidentally shipped some of the Mambasita ones instead of the Del Sols to yeah. some people that had purchased them. And then I saw a picture, I don't know where it was, but I saw a picture somewhere of like an email from Foot Patrol that was like, please send them back. <laughs> and yeah, it was I, th like, I, th I think it said, send them back if you wish. Yeah, and it's like, like a, no. Yeah. Nobody's sending these back. Sure. Yeah, I'll send you back these unreleased shoes. Why would anybody them? send these back? No. Oh yeah. But yeah, there's it's definitely a lot to think about here. I'm yeah. not I'm not I feel like there's not enough details exactly to really make a claim. Yeah. Because there's a lot reading, of like I was reading a lot of the comments and stuff like that. And like you know, there's a lot of again, sort of people that don't really care about sneakers that are now sort of in this conversation mm -hmm. so i think a lot of the um you know a lot of the stuff is like oh how could they make these and how could all that happen but i don't think people understand like how sneakers are made in a sense like if these were made then they were made way like they weren't made in three days they were probably mm -hmm. you know planned for in january and they probably made however many pairs if it was supposed to be a general release then they probably made a shit ton of pairs and, you know, they probably got them from the factories in, what, March, April or something. And so that's when the contract ended. And then I guess if, you know, they sort of said, no, we don't want to renew. Now they have all those sneakers sitting around. How they got to everybody else is kind of weird, definitely. I don't know. You know, it's obviously not a great look for Nike there if they're sending them out to everybody, especially like retail stores. At first, I thought that dude who had them was maybe like an employee or something. So obviously, they probably shouldn't have given to the employees either, but it almost kind of makes sense a little bit at least where they go, okay, well, they're, gonna, they're not going to put them in the trash. They're going to give them to maybe higher reps for something and whatever. But to see that Foot Patrol had them and then, you know, some random people are getting them. Like, okay, that's a little bit weird. They probably could have recalled those a long time ago. <laughs> yeah, they probably should have. I think it's yeah. like, like you said, this was probably designed like over a year ago, would be exactly. my guess. Yeah. And then you're going to put them into production. Maybe this happened. Maybe even if you cut production yeah. at the time, you still have like Pair, a bunch yeah. of samples of these sitting there. That, like you said, go to Nike employees, go to different people, yeah. and then somehow make their way to the people and it's out on the internet. So, like, there's always that situation that can happen. 
Um, yeah. Now this is a little bit different situation. We're also taking into consideration fake pairs of these because you know there's going to be a lot exactly. of fake pairs of these coming out exactly. that people are going to be showing off and yeah, I can't and like, really we, stop we, that. We keep seeing like with all these releases, not even these, all these guys who have these early pairs somehow. Like, where are these early pairs coming from? I have yeah. no idea. Don't know if they're fake or anything like that. Could have been the same thing with these where some guy sold some other guy's early pairs, quote unquote, and that's what they have in their hand. And like Fakes are getting so great these days. We only have that one picture from dude. Who knows what they actually look like on the inside? Is the insole completely like fucked up or something? Who knows? Mm -hmm. um, so, yeah. Like you said, not enough info. I've tried to stay away from <laughs> having arguments with people about this just because of that. It's like, I have no idea what's going on. Yeah. I don't think it was intentionally malicious, but it's like no. definitely a screw up. Yeah. And like, you know what, if like, if they sent him out to Hope Patrol and all that, they probably should have sent it, some out to his family. That's kind of <sighs> like, that's like the big yeah, kicker. Yeah. It's like, why didn't they get a pair if she's saying they don't even have Should have been the first ones to have. Exactly. Pairs, like, even if they were like, hey, we're just giving this out to like close Kobe family members and Lakers or something. They probably should have got, they probably should have got that notice way earlier than seeing some dude from Foot Patrol you, sell him to somebody I, else. I also wonder... I'm just thinking this kind of on the fly, but like this has happened before where people get shipped like a different pair. Like yeah. I remember that's happened with like, I can't remember what you it was, but like I think maybe it was a Jordan four. There was yeah. like one that came out today and one that came out supposed to come out in like a month and somebody got shipped the early one yeah. instead. And it's like, maybe that happened here where like, it's really only one pair that got yeah. to foot patrol and accident. Like they didn't even open it. Maybe they just like saw the box yeah. shipped it out to some dude dude got an early pair of something and it was just one unlucky pair that got through right and they weren't intending on it maybe like that's yeah. a possibility for sure oh yeah 100 percent. and like we we've only seen this one post from one dude and like one of the one of the guys from la or whatever i'm um, talking about the foot patrol thing yeah so i haven't so. seen more than one person so i mean like i'm <laughs> not like they're gonna post about it now yeah they're gonna get <laughs> Shit, shit on but other than chris middleton yeah, other than yeah, chris, yeah. Well, that's that's the other funny thing when i saw that that's such like, a head scratcher um, man yeah i was shooting nike some bail the whole time and then i saw that and i was like okay you done fucked up <laughs> <laughs> you definitely did yeah. not send him a dell soul pair and he's wearing those instead come on were they were they for sure those i only saw that they were black and white they're black and white and they, they don't have a picture of the heels but they do have that two for gg on the side okay. so if, if you scroll up and see the side profile there uh, you can see the two, the two yeah. yeah. So yeah. that's that's what you see in the picture. You don't see the back of them. I was I just thinking, like, they do that. But. He's a Nike guy. Like, he could have yeah. got a PE that he made kind of look like it, but mm, yeah, maybe it's too similar. Yeah, 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 similar. yeah. It's tough to tell. Yeah. Well, so. we'll keep our our ears to the pavement on this one and see what kind of comes up with it. Okay. If there's any anything Stay more exciting tuned. come out. Um, that's it for, for most of the, the topics for this week, but let's get into the Jordan 12 this week. Um, you got some 12s, Har, I know. I got a couple 12s, yeah. Not many, I think I've got four, four pairs of 12s. No 12s. No 12s here, no. Time for that eBay okay. list. A listen grow. and learn, yeah. A yeah. listen and learn week for me. Yeah. Time for that many, eBay so list to it's grow. It's going to be all Adam today. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So let's jump in with the definitive guy. Thanks to Soul Collector. This page looks weird today. They did something weird with it. I don't like it. Too many ads. Yeah. Um, but weird. we'll start in 1996 with the Taxi Jordan 12, the classic. If you think of a Jordan 12, this is probably one of your top, top ones. All white with black toe, black sole. And then some yellow, some taxi yellow touches on the sole, on the on the tongue, and on the heel there. And um, yeah, this is like we talk about the taxi, uh, the taxi nickname yep. is because of the colorway on the shoe, which most shoes are. Yep. But now we're in this age where we don't get that anymore. No, it's just it's not just color. that. Yeah. I find it fascinating, even like looking at some of the pairs that we did before this, like the 11s and 10s, 
how they all get known for like the small little colorways mm -hmm. that are in there, you know, like the yellow is like the smallest hint maybe on the back tab and stuff like that. <laughs> but, but that's what makes it taxis. stand out. That's what makes I know, it but stand out. It's just so interesting. Like, like the Concord 11s are perfect where they have that one little jump man <laughs> of the Concord purple and they're called Concords. Hilarious. Yeah. Hilarious. That's the last, as long as it's on the box, it's up yeah. for, it's up for exactly. nickname debate. So 100%. <laughs> 96 um mj is on his way to his first title after coming back from uh from retiring for baseball and he gets the jordan 12 uh this is the first jordan with uh zoom air in it oh yeah, yeah. the uh so the jordan 11s had the tensile air which was like the, the startings of zoom oh, air yeah. like really compressed really tight air air bubbles um and then the 12s were the first one with zoom air air bubble in the heel oh yeah i'm pretty sure it was oh. just in the heel yeah for the basketball heads out there 12s and 13s are some of the best ball shoes i've mm -hmm. worn ever 13s yeah. are amazing on feet but we'll mm -hmm. leave that for 13 talk next we'll week. leave that for 13 <laughs> talk. Yeah. 12s, 12s are are nice yeah. uh then 97 we have another of the OG colorways, white varsity red. So this is a, a classic, that red kind of translucent sole, um, red toe and all white upper with some black piping. Yeah, that's nice simple. Um, we also have the obsidians in 97. So that's he reverse. Retro, right? These have been retro, yeah. He's been retro. The, everything's been retro so far. No. Um, the obsidians that reverse color blocking. So instead of the white upper, you get the obsidian upper. Um, and then white on the on the outsole, on the midsole, and on the toe. And then you get some French blue accents. So we're getting into the French blue era. Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, then we have another couple OG colors, the, the black and varsity red, which are now, I guess, known as the flu games. Flu games. Um, <laughs> but I don't like. There's only one flu game, Jordan 12. We'll get to that later. Yeah. Um, but these are most famously... The game where Michael Jordan was allegedly poisoned by yep. some rival, rival pizza fans, <laughs> pizza guys. Watch the Last Dance, and you yeah. can hear all about that story. I think they're um, Utah fans, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah Utah fans. And so it's a black Savages. and <laughs> <laughs> so it's a black varsity red colorway. Um, it's a classic. Yeah, it's these a classic are the, color. the most known twelves. Mm -hmm. um, and then the last OG color is the playoff 12 and uh again similar color blocking to the obsidians we've got black uppers with white uh midsoles white outsoles white toe and a few a few red hits i know varsity red is the second color but it's like only on the soul on the tongue <laughs> yep yeah um then we get actually pretty soon after we start getting retros of these so only six years after 2003 um what? The black varsity red uh, 12 comes out again um, in 2003. This was like right before I really got into sneakers. So I missed out on these 03 ones, uh, unfortunately. And I never had a pair of this, this one. Um, so I can't really speak to its yeah, quality or are. anything on these, but we'll keep moving along. I remember like these, it. I did have a pair of these new buck ones and this was um i don't know if, correct me if i'm wrong but i'm pretty sure this was the first nike.com exclusive online release oh was it oh man there we talked about it before the jordan fours the lightning jordan the fours, thunder yeah. um the lasers but i'm pretty sure this was the first one and it came with a full package there was like the hat it's a really ugly hat and oh, uh, yeah. and a hoodie and right, like a black right, and baby right. blue hoodie I was able to find these like four years after they released when I was like really into sneakers on eBay. And I got the whole pack for like a hundred bucks. Oh man. Like Jeez. slightly worn off some guy. And I crushed, like you could wear these <laughs> into the ground. Them. You could wear yeah, these man, into the good. ground. Yeah. They're amazing. I think this is the first new buck pair too, wasn't it? And then yeah, they first new buck pair. And stuff. So you got new buck on the upper all black and then university blue accents on this one. Bad, not bad. Um, then also in 2003, we get the flints, um, for the first time, I guess they didn't really redo these. They did a dark gray later, but it's yeah. uh flint gray 
on the on the toe, on the sole, white on the upper, and some red red accents. Yeah, that's not doing it for me. And then not doing <laughs> Too it for bland. You. Too bland. Then 2004, we get the French blue. Um, so this is where coming from the interior of the obsidians, we get an all white upper, red on the heel tab, and French blue on the outsole, midsole, and toe. This is a, a this is kind of a sleeper, like a cult. Yeah, I would say favorite for a Jordan 12, I think. Yeah, I like these ones. They're not too bad. I can find them on clearance. I'd get them. <laughs> yeah, I, I got a pair of these. I remember somebody sold them to me um, a few years later, and he met me at Foot Locker at the mall. I found them on Kijiji, nice. and he wanted like 150 bucks. and he showed up, and they were like, still had the sport check receipt, <laughs> still had everything that he got them back in 2004, and I was Sweet. like, yes, I will take them. Nope. Yeah, these guys wear well and they like you know mm-hmm. the condition is really good even after you wear them a bunch of times yeah 12s except for maybe like the lighter colored new buck suede ones yeah. you can wear yeah. them you can wear oh, the yeah. tanks yeah and they look good like the more creases you get on that upper actually makes it look so much nicer agreed so, yeah agreed um then we get a playoff retro so again that black white with the varsity red hits 2004 still uh, nothing really, really new here. Yeah. Um, and then we roll into the first of two releases of this shoe. It's kind of a mellow uh, inspired oh, Jordan yeah. 12 yeah. Uh, back when he was on the Nuggets. This was his oh, first season, I think. Yeah. Probably first yeah, season on the Nuggets. <laughs> yeah. And it's an all white with university blue outsole and uh, lining. And uh, it's it came first in women's sizes, but it came up to like a 15 women's, I think, if I remember correctly. But these did get released later in men's sizes, and it was like identical shoe. So it was really strange yeah. to have these these multiple releases for this one. Yeah. Again, Ooh. I think they missed the boat early <laughs> with them. When he was on Denver, these were huge. I think his had like the yellow tab, didn't they? Mm-hmm. It says Jordan. Yeah, when they had a little difference. bit. Yeah. yeah. When, he, but, when he had his own, yeah. Yeah, his PEs or whatever, but yeah, these were super And, and just to time. clarify, uh, any young listeners out there, this is Mellow Carmelo Anthony, not yeah. Mellow, <laughs> yeah. not Lamelo the Mellow Ball. <laughs> yeah, that's why somebody we out G- there was going. Eli. Wait a minute. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I thought he. When did he play for the Nuggets? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> when did he play for the Nuggets? When we say Mellow, we mean Car Mellow. Car Mellow. Car Mellow. Yeah, I don't think Mellow Ball was even. Lamelo was even born. <laughs> yeah, you're right. Um, then we get some lows. Uh, so first time in the Jordan 12 low top, we get the obsidian color. So basically the same as the uh, original obsidian. We get it in the low. So first retro of the obsidian is a low top. So it did take a while for an actual high top obsidian 12 to release. Um this one doesn't have the French blue on the inside of the shoot, so slightly, slightly different slightly for a low different, top. Yeah. Um, then we have the men's. So this one was the mellow. This is the university blue. Basically identical, identical shoe, just probably different, different uh, last used, a little bit wider, right. um, but basically the same. And because the other one came in um, such extended sizes, anyone could have got could have got either of these. Yeah, maybe the blue is a little bit darker, but that's about it. Yeah. Then 2004, my first Jordan 12 that I ever got were this low top pair. So I had just missed the boat on 2003 and all those 12s coming out. And so when this one came out, I was like, all right, this is my chance to get a Jordan 12. And I jumped in and I wore the hell out of this shoe. (laughs) I wore this a lot and I loved it. I love the low top. It, it didn't. It didn't quite do justice to having the the highs, which I did Contexts, get later. Yeah. But mm-hmm. but they're good. They were a good uh, a good intro. It was like a starter, a starter yeah. Jordan twelve. S- starter pack. Yeah, starter pack <laughs> Jordan twelve. Um, we're not going to do all the women's ones, but this one is on the list, so we'll talk about it because I also had these. Oh so, man. This uh, was I this was a back. big. A big one. I remember, I wish Jermaine was here because um, our old manager at Full Locker was Mike Mazurkiewicz. He, I don't know why, but he was always into wearing pink. 
He loved like pink sneakers and stuff. And when these came out, nobody got them in Calgary. Obviously we never get women's stuff. Yeah. And he was the manager. He called around to a bunch of managers in Canada and he got a size 12 ship oh, in man. for him and he bought them and he was like a size like nine men's <laughs> but for some reason he got a size he 12. 12 yeah and he i remember seeing him i think he kept them in his office and he would never like take them home so they would just sit there and he would wear them like i think he, i saw him wear them twice um on shift and so after a while i wore him down i wore him down i was like these don't fit you and then he finally sold them to me and so I had these for a while. I don't even remember where they went. I, I must have sold them to somebody for super cheap. But these are cool, I, man. This is like a unicorn. Those are right super here. Yeah, yeah, super, super hard to find now. Yeah. But this was that era of the real pink. So like this came out, the two lows that we talked about, the pink lows, yeah. um, and those shy pink Jordan fives were right mm -hmm. around this time. So, so yeah. lots of this kind of like pink vibe. Oh, I like them. Yeah, the camera that's, on joints. That's, go, that's going on the eBay list. It's the camera on joints, sure. yeah. <laughs> if you can find, but Unicorn, like, hard to find. I don't think they go for Eli's a lot. Ready. <laughs> I don't think they go for a lot, but you can, if you can find it, there might be attainable, but super hard to yeah. find. Mm. Um, then we got to rest for a bit. Then 2008 comes around. As we've talked about, the countdown pack has made it to Jordan Brand, the Colezione. Um, so the two packs coming out that year, and this was the last two pack, um, arguably the best one, the Jordan 11, Jordan 12, not the best quality, but the best one. Yeah. Um, <laughs> and, uh, yeah, this, this was, uh, the first time you could get a taxi in a high cut since the original. So this is pretty, pretty nice pretty for big. people to get into them. Uh, the gold, the gold, uh, eyelets not quite as stunning as the 04 taxi lows yeah. <laughs> or what I imagine the original ones were, but they were there. Yeah, they did. They did. All right. They were shiny. <laughs> Do either of you have this, have this pack? No, no, never got that one. No, I got, no. I got a chip in my toe on it oh. on the black part. And it just, Oh no, just kills it. it just hurt. It just hurt no, for so it long, just kills it. but eventually, yeah, I had to get rid of them. Um, <laughs> Then in 2009, we get a retro of that new buck pair, the first uh, online pair. So that's that black and university blue. Um, this was kind of, if I remember correctly, it didn't release too many places, but it wasn't super sought after either. It wasn't like a crazy, yeah. crazy hype. Yeah. Hype pair. Um, also in 2009, we get the rising sun. A lot of interesting, who wants to take the story on this one? I don't know it I'll defer. well, so I'll, yeah, I'll defer to you. You don't know the story. So this is the story a little bit, but I don't This is the all it. white. So it's like an all white upper, patent toe. Um, and the the 12 is has always been reminiscent of that rising sun. That's yeah. sort of the the paneling on the on the outside, yeah. on the upper, is supposed to be sort of reminiscent of that. And so they did it with this where they perforated every second panel so it kind of looks like the sun. Um, and then they also put the actual rising sun, the Japanese rising sun logo in the insole of the shoe. Um, now I can't really speak to why this is so controversial, but I know yeah. it it's was like the Imperial flag or something, isn't it? Sure. Yeah. Is that what I, it is, I can't remember if it was that, or if it was like disrespectful to be like standing on it. Yeah. I remember I hearing that. Um, yeah. So basically what had happened when we talked about this and where stores just get stuff shipped early um, these got shipped out to stores with all the insoles. And so some stores that are mom and pop shops, just like they might've already pre-sold the shoes and like just given them to people. And so people were out there, were having those, those pairs with the insoles, but working, I worked at Foot Locker at the time and we got a big email that was like, you have to mail back all the, all, those, yeah. all of the, uh, some stores sent back insoles. Some stores had to send back the whole shoe. And I was oh, kind of like, did they send him new insoles? That's funny. <laughs> and I was kind of like, I just want to pull the ins like we should have yeah, pulled the insoles, insoles out of them. Uh, and then when they sent them back with the new pairs, it was like, I don't want like nobody wanted these. Yeah, and they just kind of sat. Was too good. Yeah, yeah. I think it was like, from what I remember when I was learning about Japan, the imperial flag was used by like the military occupied Japan in World War, 
And so obviously they were not part of the allies at the time. And so they don't really like that flag and it's you know, mm-hmm. offensive to them at that point. So to put that in a shoe, I can, I can definitely understand why they would not want to put that in there. Um, I'm guessing to them, it's probably like, you know, throwing up like a swastika or something in one of these other shoes. So I don't think that would go over well. Pretty but, much. Um, Pretty you, much. Can st- you can still find that the Imperial flag one on eBay on some other websites. You can, like I think they they, they must have sold a lot of these ones with the flags because you can find them pretty readily. Yeah, they tried to get them back, but yeah, no, it wasn't gonna. I used to play, I used to play basketball with a guy who, when I was getting to sneakers, told me about he had a pair of these with the uh, the band insoles or whatever, and he yeah. ended up like mowing his lawn in them and throwing them away. But <laughs> um, <laughs> big sneaker guy, but he just like happened upon them and like bought the shoes and then realized later that. Yeah, they were, they were one of the band or whatever. Yeah. So, yeah, they definitely. I mean, I guess technology wasn't uh, at the, at its peak back then, so they probably couldn't collect it <laughs> if they wanted to. Yeah, yeah. these. Uh, what well, if you do see these nowadays? They're like they're always so beat, like you yeah, said, like that, people mowing their lawn and them, like they're always just crushed. Yeah, <laughs> always destroyed. Um, next up, two thousand nine, we get the actual flu game. Uh, pair so slightly different pair this one has a new buck upper um, with that red toe red outsole uh, but same color blocking as the original um, black and red pair but these have the little sad face sick face emoji guy (laughs) emoji on the tongue and also on the heel uh, showing how many points he scored in that game Mm -hmm. Um, (laughs) so this is the only true flu game pair the other ones are just black and red. Yeah, it's, it's <laughs> so, so funny. <laughs> so funny. Uh, next up, 2009, we get the uh, white and varsity red retro for the first time. Um, I remember this being such a weird, like this was the first time coming in like over 10 years. People were super excited about it, but nobody bought it. <laughs> nobody and it like went on sale like in a week. Yeah. Like they were two, I think they were like 220. They went on sale for like 180 the next week and they had like 50% Jeez. off at, at Full Locker. And those days, like everything was included. So I got these for like $90, like the week after, maybe even That's a couple of days after. I don't even remember, That's but awesome. like pretty soon after I was able to get these for like, yeah, less than a hundred bucks, which was insane for a brand new Jordan 12. First time. That's retro. crazy. Disgusting. And yeah, what the hell out of them now? They're no longer They're destroyed as well. They're no longer with <laughs> Uh, Then 2011, we get a retro of the taxis, uh, low top again this time. Uh, Um, Nothing too too much more to write about there. Then we get a black and varsity red low 12. Uh, Not the same color blocking as the the flu games. I guess we'll call them that for now. (laughs) Um, But they got a patent patent black toe and then black suede uppers. Uh, these ones are pretty cool. People really like these when they came out. Yeah, I think Jermaine has a pair. If I remember oh, really? correctly. Yeah, these ones. These ones to me feel like they could be part of that whole. What is it like the graduation packs that keep coming out now? Yeah. Like these, these definitely. Yeah. The cap and gown. Yeah. They could be there. They could be there. Yeah, hundred percent. I dig them. Um, then 2012, we get the playoffs again. So the playoffs come back out. Um, I had a pair of these, somebody, I can't remember where I got it, but it was a little too big. I got it for a steal. They were 11 and a half and I just couldn't make it work. <laughs> so I gave them, gave them along to somebody, but I always love the playoffs. Playoff is a nice, it's like a basic colorway, but it's just, clean. Yeah. It's just so clean. Yeah. Can't go wrong with a black and white shoe. Yeah. Yeah. Um, then we get the Bobcats uh, colorway. So this is like a cool gray team orange. Uh, white, uh, white like marshmallowy outsole, mm-hmm. uh, white toe, and again new buck kind of uppers. <laughs> well, this was bad. this is a clean bad. this is a clean one. Yeah. I this was one of the like last you know, yeah. shoes I got at when I worked at Foot Locker. I remember. Oh really? Did, did yeah. these come out at uh, Sport Check too? Like they they did. These came out right? everywhere. Yeah. These were like a big gr. Yeah, um in this. early summer of 2012 yeah so they were everywhere and they're easy easy to get 100 
easy to rock. Yeah, this was right around the time I was starting to get into shoes. And I remember seeing the pairs of these and I had seen the cool gray 11s and love the cool gray 11s. And so yeah. to see these, I was like, oh, I love cool gray 12s. Never what? owned it before, but yeah. right? <laughs> cool gray 12s. Yeah. So, yeah, I do still like that colorway a lot, though. It is nice. Yeah. Simple, nice. Yeah. Then in 2012, we finally get a retro of the Obsidians. That is not a low top. So we get the Obsidian finally getting getting a, a high cut with that French yeah. blue interior. Um, yeah, quality isn't so great in this yeah. era. Shape is a little bit different, <laughs> but it's it's an Obsidian. And you had to, if you were a Jordan 12 fan, you had to jump on it. You had to get there, get that Obsidian because it hadn't come out in uh, a long time yeah 15 years about Crazy. so that's that's a long time to wait for a retro of that um and then speaking of that taxis, taxis the following year this was this was a christmas release where they were doing all like they would always have a different retro at christmas yeah um and this was the, the christmas one that year i remember this being mildly popular yeah um, I think taxis are super popular now and really hard to find. Um, but back then you could get this one, but it was like people were waiting for this one. Yeah. I was surprised that people came up for this one. Yeah. I think Jordan Bryan learned that you should not drop these with the 11th of December. <laughs> this, this was the, will go for the 11th. This is the same year as the Gammas. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So yeah, like everybody Gamma will blue. spend money on the 11th instead. Yeah. Of these. Yeah. And now they don't do it anymore. <laughs> um, speaking of the Gammas, I remember these two. We get a couple, I think it's a couple weeks after the Gamma Blue um, 11s come out. We get a Gamma Jordan 12. Uh, these were kind of rare. Like they're kind of limited. Only a few stores yeah. got them, but they didn't sell too well. No. It's a it's a black um, Nubuck upper with that Gamma Blue. So kind of like a bright, a bright lighter blue turquoise almost. Yeah on the toe and the outsole and then the red kind of weird like why not do the maze like <laughs> yeah. you did with the 11s i don't know yeah i remember these sitting that's all i remember oh for sure yeah <laughs> you, think with, you think with everywhere. varsity yeah, maze everywhere. over the red would have been a better choice eh, maybe again i don't i think again it's sort of like do you buy the 11 or are you going to pay for the 12 you're going to pay for the 11 <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you want the like, 11. Yeah, you can't Always. do it with that. Yeah, especially with people that are like, you know, we're going to buy one shoe or the other. It's always going to be the 11. Yeah, so. yeah, yeah. Uh, then we get in 2015, yeah. the PSNY Public School New York, um, a pretty high-end fashion brand uh, out of New York, collabs with Jordan, and they pick the Jordan 12. I guess maybe they don't pick the Jordan 12. They're yeah. probably <laughs> given the Jordan 12. Yeah. And this is the first of a few collabs with PSNY. Uh, yeah, but this, this one is, bar. you got this one? Yeah. So my first pair of 12s when they came out, um, the charcoal Dope. gray on there, I was like, geez, super, super nice. And this was like one of the few, or one of the first, you know, when they started out of the gates with collabs and stuff, like there was Cause, Public School, whoever else there was at the time. But these were just like, the starting of some of these collabs mm -hmm. i feel like those starting ones were like super big and like you know you'd never seen this material on a 12 before yeah what kind of material now, is it like i don't even know how to describe it it's kind of suede a little bit of suede in there um but it's just like super weird kind of I don't is know it hard doing. uh it is hard yeah it is hard but it does like you know when you run your finger across it say. it does it does like sort of like suede huh. it changes a little bit okay um yeah i'll have to show you one day but um it's super nice dude and like we'll see the ones after this one i tried yeah. so hard to get them all but there's, there's so a few more so colorways to get. of psny yeah and i should have got them before jordan's really hit the fan because now i can't because i thought it was expensive back then to get those <laughs> those <laughs> Milan hindsight hey Not always dude, 2020 so yeah. bad but yeah i love this bear i've had it in my collection for a long time since they released so one of my yeah. favorites well, moving on, we've got the Master oh, uh, these Jordan were everywhere. 12. Everywhere, <laughs> these were everywhere, and this was again the remastered year. Yeah. So you get the Master, so you get premium price tag, oh. remastered material, better shape, some better materials. Yeah. Um, like those gold, those gold eyelets are quite nice on this. Yeah. Uh, but these were everywhere, and they came in that everywhere. huge box. 
Yeah. Like the box was so big. actually like didn't do too bad in terms of yeah. how many people had them, right? I think you're right. Even though they were everywhere, like even now sometimes you see masters up for sale and they're still like over two bills. Mm-hmm. So it's, it's definitely interesting. Um, then we get the French blues getting retroed. Um, again, again, this is like the remastered came in that big OG box. It was that, that gray actually have, it was that old yeah. Nike box black with like the gray, the beige and red top. Right. 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 right yeah. Um, I think the master was the first one to come in that yeah, French blues so. came in that. Um, then we got the wings it's that came cool. out. Uh, this was this cool one of the first rub away Jordans that you could rub away that, um, that black upper. And what is it under? It's like a multicolor. Wings. It's like wings. A wing oh yeah, yeah, gold it's like the gold, gold, yeah. gold wings. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, this is my second pair of twelves. So you got some sleeper hit twelves. Yeah, I got some sleeper twelves. But, um, <laughs> yeah, yeah, I saw a lot of people yeah. like take the acetone to them. I'm so scared to do that. So yeah, yeah, and then it's gonna beat the oh, there's shit out of them. Yeah, just messed wear up. Just the, wear them. Uh, messed yeah, up the, the acetone, right? Pattern. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, wipe too it far. away and they wipe too much and it yeah, takes the gold off underneath. It's, and it's yeah. Yeah. I've worn them a couple of times and like they sort of remind me of the um the Lance Mountain SBs. I know we talked about back in the ones era. Mm-hmm. It takes some it takes some grinding to get some of that stuff off there, <laughs> man. Like yeah. geez, I don't know how many times I'm gonna have to beat them up to get them out, but we'll see. <laughs> yeah. We'll keep rocking them, we'll get there. Yeah. yeah. They might never come out. Like I might, they might be destroyed, and it's still gonna, like, <laughs> yeah. it might get to that point. <laughs> Soul's gonna fall off before the yeah, point. yeah. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Um, next up is the flu game came out um, again. Uh, they're calling it the flu game this time. This was their official nickname, but yeah. we know it's the Black Varsity Red. This isn't the flu game, <laughs> um, but yeah, it came in that same box as well. Uh, then we have the alternate. Jordan 12. So this is like a white alternate of that white and varsity red, yeah. even though it's gym red. So you got gym red uppers, you got all white soles, outsole, toe. Oh, yeah. I feel like if MJ wore these, they would have hit a lot nicer. Yeah. yeah. But these, this these is a sad. super clean shoe. Yeah. But... Super clean sleeper. But like, if only we had some picks with MJ in them. Yeah. Like they would sell like hotcakes. Agreed. Cakes. Agreed. Um, got some GS ones. We can kind of skip on these. Yeah. I can go over all the GS ones. Um, <laughs> yeah. then we got That's this one, the neoprene Oreos, <laughs> the neoprene Oreo. Uh, so it's like a neoprene upper, yeah, all black Ooh. with that black and then the white outsole. Um, just trying to put some different materials yeah. on the Jordan 12. Uh, then we get to the Har's moment here. Yeah. <laughs> with the OVO, the all yeah, white. The white. This was, was this after the 10s or was this before the 10s? This was after the 10s. Yeah. After the 10s. Okay. So same color, same color scheme as the 10s, but we got a, right. an all white gold Stingray toe box, Jordan yeah. 12. Yeah. Super clean. I mean, they're just, they sort of remind you of the Rising Suns. They're just all white little hints of gold on the bottom they've got like the gold speckles um there's ovo on one side there's the owl on the other clear side. and a clear soul clear soul yeah not a full clear soul but like clear pod yeah exactly on it yeah, yeah. oh yeah 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 yeah, yeah. so you Steve. can see that on the soul exactly those are yeah. sweet yeah they're a clean pair i'm happy with them <laughs> yeah there'll be more ovos as we go along um yeah. then we get the wool pair this is kind of like their first <laughs> touch on like a winterized did these ones like come a, out in Calgary? Yeah, I'm pretty they sure did, they did. Right? Yeah. Yeah. It's supposed to be like a warm wool upper, <laughs> yeah. but they just looked <laughs> they just looked like wool. Um uh, uh, it looks like the inside liner of a snow boot. Like you know when you pull yeah, your foot. Yeah, 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 it yeah, does. Yeah, yeah <laughs> totally. That's true. That's true. That's true. Uh, and this is where the Soul Collector Definitive Guide ends and we take over. Uh, also in 2016, we had the Deep Royal. The all suede, blue, blue suede. This was kind of in the time when nobody was buying Jordan 12s uh, or Jordans in general. <laughs> I can't remember if this was before we got like a look at the Michigan ones or after, mm-hmm. but uh, I think people were expecting those Michigan ones and not these. <laughs> yeah. So didn't didn't go over too well. Yeah. Yeah. Um, also in 2016, we get the Wolf Gray University Blue. 
So similar to that cool gray Bobcat. Yeah. Bobcat one, yeah, we get like a UNC version of that. So university blue accents, gray upper, white yeah. sole. This is another pair that like when it released, I couldn't have cared less. And now that I see it again, I'm like, this is kind of a dope colorway. I think that's clean. Like, yeah, you wear a pair of these. You get to that eBay watch list. <laughs> bang bang. <laughs> You're getting on there. Um, then 2017, we get into a few other new colorways. So this is like a dark gray, um, dark gray, dark gray, wolf gray. So it's like dark gray suede, um, a dark gray toe, and like wolf gray midsole outsole. That's not a bad pair. Like the gold pops. Yeah. The gold the eyelets and the gold there. heel. Yeah. The suede, the gray suede is always but, nice. But, like after the PSNY is coming out and then you do yeah, this. Exactly. It's like, this is the B, this is the B grade version of that for <laughs> <Yeah>. sure. <laughs> it's not up there. Um, then we get the Bordeaux. These look yeah, really good in this picture. Yeah. Um, but they didn't look as good in they person. You turn the contrast up on that. Yeah, you really crank yeah. it. But it's it's that nice like wine colored upper, like uh yeah. almost velvety suede. Did and these come get... out with those elevens, like the Aris elevens? No, those are velvet. Of those are yeah, velvety, they're very yeah. similar. I don't think that was they might have been the same year actually. Um, yeah. but these were the men's pair. Yeah. Um, yeah. so you got like a cream outsole textured toe and a wine upper suede upper yeah i mean if they looked like exactly like those pictures wow. amazing <laughs> yeah. but they, they don't. don't quite there they no, go. that's what they look like yeah <laughs> it's like a dull red brown yeah <laughs> yeah these so pictures bad. are just killing it if you're not watching this come and look at these pictures yeah. turn go pictures look amazing yeah go on the video and watch these pictures, wow. the pictures look really great section yeah, those um, look like Primo, and then you switch over. It's like, Ew. Yeah, <laughs> definitely. Then we get the OVOs back in 2017, black the black ones. Do you have these, Har? I do, yeah. Har's got all the OVOs. <laughs> so basically, it's same as the whites. Not as nice as the white ones, but... Same as the whites, just flip all the colors, essentially. Yeah, just make it black. <laughs> uh, except, yeah, no gold. Yeah. Other than under, under the Underneath, outsole. Yeah. Um... Next up, we had a low gray suede. So it's like a wolf gray, low suede. I think it has some volt kind of on it or electric green maybe. Right. Yeah, on the pull tab. Yeah, varsity maze, they call it. But we're back to a few more lows. Um, Not the greatest. Then we get the one pair that I still have, the <laughs> Doran Becker Jordan 12s. Love this pair. Uh, Carissa Navarro killed it she was born um she was a, a child born with no kidneys and she had a twin sister uh and at birth the twin basically because the she had a twin sister she was able to survive in the womb and then when she was born the sister uh they took one of the kidneys from the sister gave it to this sister helped her live so she was able to survive essentially by having that so she made this dope dope shoe um, it's like black with pink camo, hyper violet, pink blast, they call it, uh, <laughs> pizza, awesome. pizza, little logos on the, on the tongue, wool laces. Cause she likes her hoodies. Um, says she heart family on the, on the one shoe, Doran Becker inside hope on the tongue instead of the two, three, then it has the, her name on one shoe, Carissa Savannah on the other for her sister, the kidney, um, ribbon on okay. it and then on the soles it's got the kidney ribbon it's got this like squished face puppy <laughs> dog and then one basketball shoe one one tennis ball shoe just like this is just like what so kids should make it's so dope it's so dope i love this shoe that is crazy. i love this shoe so wild. much i have them back here if you can see them. no they're super dope they're what's there. with the um if you go back to the the rear yeah. Uh, you see how that one twenty three has the red around it, and the other twenty three doesn't. I don't know any significance to that. Hmm. I never thought. I, I think never that really might just be that. the picture. It might oh, be the picture. the picture. It's like the camo. Let's see. Let's see. Yeah, it might just be the camo. Let's see. Here. Oh yeah, 
No, is it just the camo? It's just like I don't know if you can see that. Oh yeah, okay. They're just both black. Yeah. Okay, fair enough. You just it's just like you can it's kind of indented. Indented in, yeah. So you can see it there. Right, right. Yeah, this is super dope. Pair. Love, love this pair. One of my favorite nice. Dawn Beckers Very for cool. sure. Um, then we get the first of the Chinese New Year Jordan 12s. So it's basically a taxi colorway, but replacing the gold with like sort of wood, mm-hmm. like plasticky wood, and then some textured black, black parts. And then is it super clean? I like Chinese, I, I don't know if it says Chinese New Year on the tongue. Right. Or what that says, and clear out soles again. Yeah, I think they came with a nice box too. I can't remember yeah. what it looked like, but yeah, cool. um, some three M, three M up around that too. Yeah, there's the box. Yeah, it's a so white different. white box. Um, next up, we got playoff coming out in a low for the for the first time. So we get the playoffs in a low. Yeah. If you want them, they're there. If you want them, <laughs> they're there for you. Uh, and we also get the max orange low in 2017. So basically all black with the max orange uh, tab on the on the side and on the heel and on the tongue. Um, then we get to what Har was talking about, the other public school New York collabs. Uh, this time we got three pairs coming out. Um, what was it? New York, Paris, Paris and Milan. Milan. So New York, you get the Timberland wheat. Oh, dead fire. ass. Um, They're all fire. Yeah, Milan, you get the olive, yeah. all olive. And then uh, Paris, you get the Bordeaux. And this is like real <laughs> Bordeaux versus that other Bordeaux. That other trash. So super, again, same, exact same color blocking, which is just basically solid color. Solid color. And yeah. that interesting material. Yeah. Um, yeah, see, it almost looks kind of like suede there. You'll see yeah. it. Yeah, um, but it's a little bit it's a little bit harder. I don't know how they've treated it. But yeah, great man. You could at first you could get those that wheat pair like so easily. Like the Milan pair and the Paris pair have always been a little pricey. But now you can't even find that wheat pair. Anymore. Yeah, you can't and get none, anything. The other two are just like impossible. So, all right, I'm pretty sad. Hopefully, someone hits me up with them. <laughs> <laughs> I wanted I wanted all of them. On to 2018, we've got the gym red. So all gym red, all leather uppers. Um, this must be the kids one with the yeah, suede. These, these are weird. I'm not yeah, these. just too much red. Yeah. I don't know what you're trying to do here. Yeah. The metallic um, the metallic logos kind of nice. Tab, tab, tabs yeah. and the, and the uh, eyelets. It's kind of cool, but yeah, not sure. Yeah. Not sure about this one. Oh, that's a miss um, for sure. 2018, we also get the international flight pair. Oh yeah. Now, this pair was kind of dope. Yeah, I saw this pair in person actually when I was in London. Like, kind of like a sleeper actually. Mm-hmm. It looks really nice in person. That pattern is really cool. Yeah. And, uh, the Japanese print on the yeah. heel. Pretty pretty yeah, nice. It's cool, you know, like traditional Japanese clouds yeah. there and everything. Yeah, it's yeah. Cool. I think it came with a nice box as well. But yeah, um, I wonder yeah if they're that's pretty cool. Here. No box on no. this picture. Um, also in 2018, we get the actual winter eyes, not the wool, no. the fake <laughs> wool. But you get like a Kevlar looking upper, all black with the wool interior. And these are just meant to be destroyed. <laughs> yep. Just wear them in winter, crush them. No. Anybody get these? Nah. I'd be curious to try them out, but not for the price. They were too expensive. They were like exactly. 300 bucks, I think. Yeah, screw that. Which was way too pricey at the time. Um, that also in 2018 we get the Chris Paul class of 2003, um, in honor of I believe it's his Wake Forest uh, uh, University. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's like that olive Green, and yeah. some sort of gold uh, colors. <laughs> um, interesting material there on that on that toe class of 2003 CP3. Looks like a different shoe when you that looks like a totally different shoe. The... Yeah. Yeah. Again, like looks nice, and then these ones are <laughs> too much, the maybe. I that? don't know. It's tough. Yeah. It's tough. Yeah. They just make one shoe with the good materials and take pictures with it. <laughs> and the rest of them are like, nah, screw yeah, it. Yeah, just it. throw a bunch of Instagram filters yeah, on it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like. 
Then in 2018, we get the actual Michigan 12s yep. finally coming out. Um, there were PEs of these for a few years, uh, but they are, I'm pretty sure Jermaine has these as well. They were tough so, to find. Uh, they still are. Yeah. All navy upper with that amarillo yellow yeah. um, accents. And then the right shoe has the Michigan M, University of Michigan M on yeah. the tongue that the uh, the um, P's all had for yeah. sure. I'm curious to see what material is on these ones because it might be similar to those. Uh, mm -hmm. Actually, never mind. No, it's not. But clean. again, these <laughs> clean, yeah, shoe. clean pair, clean pair. Clean shoe. Very cool, yeah. Uh, then we got a second Chinese New Year in 2019. Um, this is the one, again, with the tearaway. So very similar to the wings. Yep. Um, just doesn't say wings on it. But the interior has that multicolor. It's basically like a, a playoff yeah. um, with a gold accents. But then you can you can cut away. I don't think these tear away or these like uh, wear away. You oh, have to yeah, actually cut them off. Cut them. Yeah, yeah, you got to um, cut them off. But really cool multicolor patchwork underneath. Oh, yeah. So those are the kids' pairs. You can't cut away on them, but... Pretty nice and really nice packaging again. Again, yeah. Like Car was mentioning on the other ones. Yeah, gold yeah, box. Interesting. With that pattern. Yeah. Um, pretty nice. Then 2019 still, the FIBA 12s come out. All white, all white, all white everything with just a little bit of red on the sole, on the tongue, and in the interior and heel, and then gold. It's a clean pair. I like this pair. Mm -hmm. I mean, you so, would because yeah. it's like OVO. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I guess so. I guess you're not wrong. <laughs> Pretty much. Uh, good summer shoe. <laughs> yeah. There you go. Um, also in 2019, we get the Game Royal. So we get the basically the black and varsity red, but with Game Royal instead. So you get all black leather uppers with Royal Blue Tail, Royal Blue Midsole, Outsole. If this came out in like 03, I think yeah, exactly. people would have gone crazy for it. But Definitely by the time we get to long. 2019, it's it's not there anymore. Nope. Uh, I don't. I think these sat. But if they came out today, maybe they'd blow out the water. Who knows? Maybe, yeah. They sat. Um, I remember these sitting for days. Yeah, they sat. They sat hard. Clean colorway, but yeah. Just... Yeah. Yeah, no. I... Um, then we get the reverse taxi, they call it. I'm not really sure what this makes. <laughs> yeah. Why this is called the like basically the playoff is the reverse taxi. <laughs> yeah, if you yeah, just yeah, put exactly. yellow, if you kept the yellow on it. Yeah. Um, but reverse taxi, it's like all black uppers with just a white outsole, and then it's suede for some reason, and then taxi color on the tongue, on the two three on the tongue, and taxi on the outsole Random. and the heel and the heel. So yeah, I remember super these weird. Too. Yeah, these do not do it for me. These nope. are yeah. miss. This isn't it. This isn't it. Uh, coming to the end, 2019. Still, we get the dark gray, which is basically a retro of the flint gray from 2003, just slightly darker gray, I guess. Yeah. Um, red hits as well. Big miss. Yeah, white with the dark gray. These did not sell horrible. too well. Yeah, these are horrible. Uh, then the reverse flu games. These are dumb as hell. Man, too. so it's like red so suede dumb. upper with black. But this is like a reverse. Yeah, it is like a the reverse. The reverse taxi was not a reverse. reverse. Yeah, like they did, did it. They did it right. It just looks These, sad. Yeah, nobody's, nobody. I've seen lots of people wear them, but those people don't know, and they're just crushing them. They're just yeah. like, every pair of these I see I remember, just destroyed. Yeah, I remember everybody was looking at that red from the from the heel to the suede and how it was so off. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> It's just like in person, like even in the pictures, it just looks so bad. Yeah, it's so much darker yeah, on the middle. Yeah, so much. Yeah, yeah. So yeah it's weird, weird pair. Then we got the Black University Gold, the Gary Payton PE oh, yeah. brought to life. Uh, these ones sold pretty well because this was after the hype. This was right after the yeah. last dance. The hype was there. Uh, great color blocking, same as the Black Varsity Red, same as that Game Royal, but the right timing for it. Exactly. I think it did a lot better than it maybe had any right to do yeah in, no, in that era a lot better but pretty nice pretty that's a nice, nice pair yeah, that's just sweet i like this um then we get the indigo uh in 2020 so basically the obsidian <laughs> uh again yeah. 
just a, a smoother leather, I guess. Just just an indigo this time. Just an indigo, smooth, <laughs> smoother leather. I don't know. Yeah. Slightly different. And then we get the dark con dark concord. <laughs> So we had some good conversation about Concord this week. <laughs> um, so what's the uh, what's the verdict? Is this is this blue? Or this, is this one purple? is purple to me. This one's purple. That looks very to you. purple. I see yeah. purple there. Yeah, that's purple to me. Okay, I, I see purple. I always see purple on these, um, but I don't know. Other people are saying it's blue. Tell me it's blue. Other people tell me it's purple. I think it's not these ones. These ones are definitely purple. purple. Yes, agree. Um, and that's it. I don't think there are any twelves this year yet. Have there been? I don't think so. No. Couldn't find any. We're all twelve um, now. Before that's it for the Jordan twelve. But before we're hey. done, I got a couple things to bring up. The Jordan twelve point five. Oh yeah. Do you remember this? <laughs> Halfway between a twelve and a thirteen. This is a good yep. precursor for the next week's show. Because oh, it's man. got that 3M heel. It's got a little yep. hologram, but it's got the 12 eyelids. <laughs> what a shoe. Huge what a shoe this was. Again. Tons of colors. Like, this was quite I don't think I've ever shoe. seen these before. Yeah. These are wild. It was a shoe. Yeah, it, it was, it was a, a thing. That <laughs> There's a reason you haven't seen it. 2007, I think. 2006, like 2007. Like that, yeah. They did do some team PEs, so they got like the cow. They did do a little bit. Yeah, yeah they did some PEs for these. Um, and then you the had other the lows, hey shit. Yeah, Thought the mic, the these Mike Bibby ones. Yeah, <laughs> crazy. Um, then we got that is uh, crazy. Wow, the Jordan Twelve, the Jordan Comfort Viz Max <laughs> Air Twelve. Um, we talked about these with the ten and the eleven. Of course, they did some twelves in this. So you've got like sort of an obsidian look. Uh, and then I don't know what this is. Black yeah. and a gray. Like it's Who's never been this? <laughs> it's never been a, a 12 color. A lot of Jordan brand. There you go. This is when they were doing it big. I bet Albert has these. <laughs> oh, Albert's got probably, a pair of these for sure. every pair. Yeah. Why not? <laughs> uh, but that's it. That's the Jordan 12. Hey. We killed every colorway of the Jordan 12. Eli, oh. anything jumping on your list now? I did a quick search. I don't know. Prices are up there for a lot of those colorways. Yeah, um, yeah. Like the recent re- release stuff is up there. And anything that's a little bit older that I kind of liked seems like it's crushed. You can find it. Like I did a quick search for those uh, UNC, like the kind of like the cool grays with the UNC hits. Mm-hmm. And everything on eBay is just absolutely murdered in those. So Mental. we'll see. Yeah, we'll see. Uh, there is also a baseball cleat Jordan Twelve. Oh there yeah, is, there uh, is. Oh, yeah, plastic yeah, yeah. and a uh, there's a metal spiked. Right, right. I remember there was a those was it a Seahawks colorway as well. Is there a football cleat for that one? That might have been oh, a PE. I would imagine that's a PE. PE. Yeah, that's a PE. Yeah. But but uh, there you go. Yeah, the, there you go. Oh no, no, there they are, right there. Yeah, they might not have been a PE. Yeah, football cleats right there. Mm-hmm. So they did, yeah, baseball cleated, football cleated, and then you so get football, metal. Baseball. Yeah. yeah, for sure. They don't look, they don't look bad as cleats. Catch. I looked uh, looked into getting a pair of these when I was playing slow pitch a few years ago and then decided that was a lot of money for once <laughs> yeah. a week in your league slow <laughs> pitch. Not, not yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, uh-huh. You're exactly like me, Eli. Exactly. <laughs> well, Jones that's ball it. Team? Don't have that color. Yeah, you got you gotta yeah, have it. Shoes. You got to have it. Uh, well, that's yep. it for the Jordan 12s this week. I think we hit them all. If we miss something, let us know. Uh, hit us up on Instagram. Hit us up on YouTube, wherever. Let us know we missed a Jordan 12. We'll, we'll reconcile that and chat about that next week. Um, but we got to do a hot take before we get out of here. Uh, I kind of struggled with it this week, but <laughs> I got one. I got one. It's a, it's a shoe that released just a few days ago. Um, it's gotta be a hot take, uh, but I got two sort of things to talk about, about it. So I'll bring it up here and it is from Adidas, the Yeezy foam runner. I know, I think this is released before. Uh, the foam runner has not this color. Yeah. So we had new, two new colors in this like disgusting ass foam runner. (laughs) Uh, there's no way this is a shoe anybody wants, but 
this made me find another picture of the shoe that somebody had been wearing on Instagram and wearing it like a croc, putting all your croc jewelry on the Yeezy foam runner. What do you guys think about this? This guy's got some swag, man. <laughs> he knows what's up. He knows what's up. Oh, boy. Next creative director of Adidas right here. <laughs> <laughs> it just looks so big and, like, uncomfortable and, like, roomy and weird. I've never, I've never worn one, so I want one. Like just what? to see what they feel like. I just don't understand like, why anybody would want this. Are they comfortable? Maybe they're, like, mad comfortable. Who knows? How? I don't well, know. I'm just saying. saying but... <laughs> How could they be? I have no nope. idea. I just don't understand it. Like, what is that? Yeah, doesn't look like anything. <laughs> no. That's for sure. I've yet to see somebody in Calgary wearing them, but I'd like to see somebody wearing them. They're pretty cheap, actually. I was surprised with the price. Yeah. Well, I mean, they're cheap if you can get them yeah, on yeah, the day yeah. of release. They're, they're retail cheap, but... Yeah, they're retail cheap, but resale is expensive as shit. Eli, are you upset you're not buying anything in June? <laughs> yeah, you know, these mineral... Dark mineral now. <laughs> mineral. Blue. I can't even pretend mineral to be blues. excited about these. These yeah. are imagine walking into all work the these. way terrible. <laughs> Just oh, walking man. into work. Yeah, people would people would hate you. This is funny, but yeah, no, I definitely, I still want to get one. Just want to try them out. If somebody <laughs> has one out there. Let me try them. You've got a pair for retail. <laughs> give it up to heart. Yeah, size ten and a half. Bring it. Give to you heart. a verdict. You will wear what them. I think. Oh, you know what we should have brought up for like a hot take or a discussion point is that uh, company out of New York that's renting hype sneakers. Oh man! Oh yeah. yeah There's yeah. been a few that have tried that in the past. I've seen them, yeah. so we'll bring that up in the next week. Yeah. And we can talk about. I don't want to give away any spoilers of what I think about yeah. renting sneakers. You might not know what I think. You might know what I think, yeah. but. <laughs> Uh, yeah, yeah, that's a good that's a good yeah. topic for next week for sure. I wonder how they charge people. Like, what if you just destroy them? I remember the one that I saw was like tiered, and it was like you can pay like uh, yeah. so, so much a month, and you can get like A level shoes or like D level shoes. Oh, uh, it's like. But if you want like the Red Octobers, you want to borrow a pair of Red Octobers, you're paying like <laughs> premium price every month. That's oh, weird. That's and you pro- they probably have like. You got to pay a deposit or like credit yeah, card yeah, on file. Or... It'd be no different than renting like a luxury car, right? Yeah. If you yeah. smash up, a, they'll be insured for it or whatever. Exactly. But you know, I, mean, I like... heard their slogan though was uh, rent what you like, wear it, and then give it back. <laughs> <laughs> so. That reminds me of our sign off a little bit. <laughs> it sounds like they've been listening to Gotham. <laughs> too much. <laughs> With that, I guess I want to do the sign off for this week. You want to try it together? Try. Only three of us. We can maybe make it work. All right. Three, two, one. Buy what you buy like, what you like, like but wear what, what you what buy. You buy. Peace. 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 How low can you go? Tell me how deep can you dig? Tell me how far can you kiss? How high can you jump? Tell me do you do a lot of drugs? Tell me do you sip a lot of bug? How far can you go? Tell me are you down for the